thank you for watching MRTV. I am Maria, and today we're keeping it basic, but I'm making a throwback. Okay, we are doing a fried bologna and cheese sandwich. Okay, I don't take it back. Okay, sometimes you have to go back. So we're gonna just have some mustard, mayo, actual mayo. I ain't even using miracle whip. I'm using mayo. You know, have my lettuce tomato and look at here y'all i don't know if anyone's ever had i got this from uh kroger the uh garlic bologna come on here this stuff is fantastic okay and let me see i had i think i had the lady and you get to pick how thick you want your slices so we'll go into that and I'll show you that once we come back. But I have four nice size thickness of slices here. So we're going to do that. And let me tell y'all, right here, please get y'all some of this. This bread is so good. This is the first time I've bought Pepperidge Farm bread, but it is so good. It's moist. It got a little, you see where it say honey white? It got that little hint of honey sweetness in there. And they're not small pieces either. They're nice size pieces. Pick you up some of this bread if you want some good bread. Check it out. Okay, so we're gonna go, go to the skillet. And when we come back, that's where we'll be, frying up this bologna. Well, no, we're not gonna fry up the bologna. What we're gonna do first is cut up our tomato and um, slice up some lettuce to go on our sandwich. Alrighty, now I went and washed my hands, wash my tomato, okay. Now, I don't know how y'all like y'all tomatoes, but I really don't like thick tomatoes on my um, sandwiches, I really don't. I like my tomatoes just about here. You know, that little thickness right there, just about. I don't really like them too thick. That one right there, I probably did a little too thick, but I didn't cut it now. Oh, yeah. I haven't had a good old fried bologna sandwich and a wow. And I have gotten this. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I got the idea to do the fried bologna sandwich from my girl, Mama Ray Ray. So I said, okay, I'm gonna jump on it, okay? Let me get this extra juice up off of here. Okay. Now, I don't know how I'm going to cut. Because I want my lettuce to have bigger pieces. How many people pull the lettuce? <laughs> I take off so much of the skin that I barely have a lettuce at the end. Because I be trying to, I don't like all that brown on there. So, I'm going to just use the rest um, to make a salad with. That's it. So, I'm going to take this. I like them to be like this here. When I'm putting them on my sandwich, you know, a nice big piece of leafy lettuce like that. Oh, that'll be enough. And the rest of this, trust believe, is going for a salad. It will not be wasted. So I'm going to go rinse this lettuce off, pat it dry so I can add it with my tomato. Then we'll be at the skillet. Alrighty. I got my lettuce cleaned and patting that dry. You don't want none of that liquid on your sandwich, that's for sure. Period. 
You know, I used to love coming home after school, making me a nice bologna sandwich. I declare, if my mother hadn't already had my dinner, because nine times out of ten, my dinner was ready when I got out of school. You know, but when it wasn't, I was able to fix me a grilled cheese sandwich or a bologna sandwich. It was the best, especially back then because you had the good cheese. Hold on. Be right back. All right, you guys, we are at the skillet, and it is heating up, but I wanted to show y'all the thickness of this garlic bologna. See that? Now, some people might like theirs a little thicker than that, but I think that's a nice size for your bologna. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much enough. Then... just to um, put two of them together. And I try to tell people, when you fry frying bologna, it's important that you put the slits in your bologna to help it from bubbling up in the middle. Okay? So, I'll be back when that skillet is ready. Alrighty. The bologna is getting its fry on. So you see how it's not coming up? I know I showed this before in the previous one, if I'm not mistaken. But when you put those slits in there, it just don't pop up in the middle. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. be okay when it's time to flip I'll be back there you go oh yeah look at that char mmm I love that I have to have some char on my bologna sandwich I have to my bologna sandwich cannot have char that's what give it that good flavor that little bit not too much <laughs> but somebody might like this darker than this but that's a good char. It's time to build, y'all. Alrighty. We are about to get this quick bologna sandwich on the ball. Ooh. And see, Pepperidge, you got another bag inside your regular bag to keep your bread nice and fresh. I told y'all about this Pepperidge. That's a nice size piece of bread right there. And it's nice and moist. This is some good bread. But I think I'm gonna go on and throw mine in the toaster. Have me some toasted bread for my bologna sandwich. You okay? That is what's gonna make this even better, I think, is the toast. So once it pop up, because I'm not gonna sit here and let y'all sit and wait till it pop up. Once it pop up, I'll be back. Alrighty. Woohoo. See that nice piece of toast? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's get this. Now, I like a lot of mayo on my sandwich. Even when I go out, get a burger or something. Because what I don't like is a dry sandwich. You know what I'm saying? I do not like my sandwich dry. That right there. But this is a perfect after school snack, lunch for the kids or lunch for you. You at work, nice bologna sandwich. You cannot go wrong with a bologna sandwich. You just can't. Okay. Put that lettuce right there. Okay. Hold on. Put the lettuce right there. Got my bologna. Oh yeah. Put that bologna right there. 
Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now, I know y'all said, well, she didn't put no mustard. I only put mustard on one side. Now, if you like mustard on both sides, feel free. But I'm not really liking a lot of mustard like that. So, I just put it on that one little piece. Put me another thing of lettuce. Add my tomatoes. My hands are clean. And then I'm eating it too, so I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then we flip that boy right over like this here. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a wonderful sandwich here. Okay, let me bring it up to y'all so y'all can see. Let me bring it on up. Look, I hear. Okay. Mmm, mm, that toast. Yeah, no cheese. I'm going to be very honest with you all. I thought I had some cheese. Or else... I'd have got it, but you know what? It's okay. Clearly, I didn't need that cheese. That's how I think about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't have yourself all stressed. Just be like, shit. I guess I ain't need it then. Hmm? There you go. With your um sandwich. Another close-up of the inside. You can't really see it right now. But I'll get you a close-up. Now, I'm going to pair this with some of these here. Lay's Wavy. These are new. My husband got these. So we're going to see what these are all about. But. There you go right there. Have your stuff. You can't eat a bologna sandwich without chips. I just don't see it happening, you know. Then you need a what? Cold, refreshing drink to go with that sandwich. And we're going to have some cranberry cocktail by Minute Maid. It's nice and cold. Let's see. Let's see what it got for you. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something. You got to have it. You got to have it. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Then you do this. Try to get that ice. Come on back up to the top there. <laughs> oh, my God. It's frozen in there. I had to make sure that boy was good and cold. So I'm going to get you all a close-up on this. Up. There you go. Just a basic bologna sandwich with some chips, a nice cold drink. Hey, it don't get no better than that, huh? <laughs> I appreciate you all for watching. Coming to MRTV. If you like what you've seen today, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. Give this one a thumbs up. I appreciate you all so much. And hey, make you a bologna sandwich. You can't go wrong. Bye. Look, I had to taste this with y'all, okay? It was a must. It was a must. At first I wasn't, but I said, you know what? They got to have some. Get you some. See that? Oh, yeah. Now, let me take a bite. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. 
Sunshine Street Tacos from Lay's. They're really good. And they go perfect with the sandwich, too. They go perfect. Mm. 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 All the time. All the time she have to. I really want to take another bite. But I'm going to wait till this is over. Okay? Make it all quicker. Mm -mm. That is yum yum. So, thank you all for watching again. Have a blessed day. And as always, peace.